I just didn't expect to enjoy what I played. And it is wild to be in a band now with people who I love. I love each of those guys. I love our crew. I love the music we made together. I love the songs that existed before I came in. I, I, I was a big rec fan before I met Ian, you know, I met Ian by chance and, um, and, uh, you know, so I was a massive fan before he knew I existed. So getting to play those songs and the songs we've written and getting to get challenged every night is, uh, it, I, I really couldn't be happier. Like it's, it's the most fulfilling thing I've done in as far back as I can remember, you know? So last year, 2021, you joined Big Rec. Mm -hmm. um, you, you guys have recorded a new album called Big Rec 7, 15 songs. You've, divi you've, you've divided, you've decided to release it in five song chunks. So you have mm -hmm. uh, three EPs, two of them are out, 7.1, 7.2, and then 7.3 is on the way. Um, just the way the industry is now, the way people consume music, it's it's smart to release it in smaller chunks and have <laughs> more singles available. It looks like the band is always there instead of one big thing comes out and then after three months, there's nothing for the yeah. next year and a half waiting for yeah. a new album. So I think it's a smart business move. Um, mm -hmm. We have a fan question uh, from Brandy Charlton, who says, what was the call like when Ian asked you to play with him again, this time with Big Rack? If you got a call, I don't know if an audition came up. I don't know how all that. No, happened. It, it was a call. It was, it was completely out of the blue. Like, so since I left Thornley, you know, Ian and I, we've stayed in touch. Certainly we, we, if we didn't talk every week, we talked a couple times a month as friends. And I think our relationship actually got better after I left that band. You know, we were both in a certain spot where we were pretty toxic to each other <laughs> back in Thornley. So it's, it's, it, it got better over the years, just being friends. And um, um, yeah, January 21, he called me on the blue and said, hey man, we are having some problems. Uh, Chuck, the original, the other drummer, sorry, um, was having some health issues. Um, and he it, it bled through to that. He, when they were in the studio tracking, he was having a really difficult time laying some stuff down. And he said, would you be interested in coming in and taking a stab at these 15 songs tomorrow. <laughs> you know, Chuck's no, had the song. No time for, like the present, I suppose. Oof. Chuck's had the song for three months. The whole band's had the song for three months to kind of figure out their parts and things like that. And, and here I have to come in like the following day and kind of figure it out. So um, I went in and, uh, and he had told me, he said, listen, there, there, there might be a spot opening in the band, but like, I don't, want to say that for sure just hold and if something happens i'll let you know and then i think after we trapped i think i tracked was it five or four songs the first day i can't remember um the first day we, we, we tracked a bunch of stuff and uh and then it was like yeah it's if if you're happy to be here we we absolutely want you here like for sure you know, Ian and I have always been been massive fans of each other's playing, and uh, and so um, yeah, it just kind of happened that way, pretty organically. Like, um, just uh, I, I tracked the rest of the songs. We we were like, again, my performance anxiety was. I don't think he even knows this, but it was at an all time high when I was doing that, and I did not want to make mistakes. It was it was a chance to play for a band that I've always had nothing but respect for. I didn't want to let Ian down. The songs were incredible and I wanted to do right by them. And so um, I really had to kind of look within myself and, 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 and then on top of that, Ian's so excited to have me the whole time on track. He's like looking from the control room, like looking at me, <laughs> just making stuff up, making fills up as I'm, as I'm trying to figure out what the section is for song and stuff. And thankfully he, it went really well and he was just like this is so, he's like he's like he's like you've elevated these songs he's like i did not expect that level of of uh, just uh musicality come to those songs and so getting that feedback from him was like yeah yeah okay okay and it kind of gave me wind in my sails to kind of really um do as best job as i could for the songs and, and by the time we were done you know, like you know just hearing him like he would text me like dude you you next level it like I don't know what to say like thank you so much so hearing that from a band that I you know he I've been in love with them since the first album like everyone else so knowing that 
it felt like it just made me feel for the first time in a long time, like I really brought something to the table and I was really, I was home, you know, I was really home. So uh, that's how it happened. It was just, it was just a circumstance that I just happened to be ready for and it worked out. 